Tracker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising, the voice of Canadian trucking. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, we're hauling huge with Challenger Motor Freight. Then, trucking in the GTA with Day and Ross. And we're back, fighting breast cancer at Trucking for a Cure. But first, we're northbound with Neil of Laidlaw Tank LP. Uh, we're taking this load up to Blind River. It's actually uh, like an interplant move. It's just from one Carmoose's plant in Ingersoll to their plant at Blind River, where it'll be probably crushed down and uh, shipped back out from there. It's a load of uh, quarter by three quarter line. Uh, we got 92,000 some odd pounds payload on. Still under gross by two ton. Well, they're slow in Ingersoll because of the uh, strike at U.S. Steel in uh, Nanico. And they're, uh, they're very busy at Northern Line in Blind River, so supply and demand. They have more than they need in Ingersoll and Blind River needs it, so just ship it up there. Ontario is always nice. That's good. Get away from the traffic soon. <laughs> and uh, nice country, nice scenery. You know, at night, worry about the wildlife. But daytime is always nice for the scenery. I haul lime 90% of the time, usually on B trains too. So it's kind of just. It, this not very often we go up north to the, like an interplant like this, but we all lime around all over. Space, it's quieter, pulls good, a little better on fuel, which should still improve when I get more miles on it. It's a Max Force it's International Zone engine. It's a 13 liter, 475 horse, 13 speed transmission. About 20 years I drove a Pete, so pretty hard getting used to this because it's the wider cab, you sit out close to the edge, almost like driving, a, sitting in an old cab over here, so, so close to the white line. It's hard to get used to that to judge your center of the lane. It 
seems to pull pretty good. Like I said, it's still pretty new. Fuel mileage is pretty good. We're getting over five running the B train, so can't complain of that. Far better than the three and a half in the winter times where they're coming. I'd like to say that this will be my last one and I'll retire, but it's hard to say. Six years, six more years, I'll be 65, so. After the break, we're trucking in the GTA with Thomas Chelinski of Day and Ross. Late law carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Now hiring company drivers women and men, late model, all Peterbilt fleet, dependable runs, great pay and benefits, locomote systems, transportation specialists, Ontario truck driving school, training for your future, your path to success, thousands of jobs, Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Trucker Television is brought to you by Sousa Truck Trailer Repair. New Cambridge location now open. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Cooler. Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses. The RPM Havelock Show, Canada's best cars and trucks featuring the Artistry and Iron Motorcycle Collection. A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Closed captioning brought to you by Bryson Insurance, fleet and risk management experts. My name is Thomas Chelensky. My father-in-law got me into this business. Here I am, uh, five years later, with my own truck and doing excellent. Well, I do mostly city uh, work, so that will be a GTA area. Sometimes that spans from all the way Peterborough to Niagara Falls and up to Barrie. It's nice to have uh, a different thing every day you, you, you come in and you don't know if you're gonna end up in Peterborough or just down in Mississauga. You don't know what kind of load you're getting because we're hauling anything from box to french fries, anything in between car parts. Uh, 
uh, big items, small items, so to be home every day is a bonus in this industry. And with uh, two young kids, I got a three-year-old and a five-year-old, so uh, I'm not planning to go, you know, a week or two away from home. Uh, but this uh, this city city type job fits uh, very well with with my family. On a day like today, uh, we have winter, we, right now it's raining, uh, if it's snowing, raining, the, the turn and uh, stopping times are increased exponentially, so uh, it's really, really important to give trucks the extra space. Uh, you see that on some of the overpass uh, signs and so on, give trucks extra space, everybody just kind of shrugs it off, but it is really important not for our comfort, but for the safety of the four-wheelers. I know the trucks are big, but we still need to go where we need to go, so if we need to change a lane to turn down the road, uh, there is very, very often you get people just squeezing by, squeezing by, uh, and you're gonna wait, uh, you know, a kilometer or two before anybody lets you in, in the traffic, even with a correct blinker and everything, and there is nothing we can do. We don't wanna force our way in, of course. And uh, sometimes it ends up, we miss the turn. We gotta reroute and everything on the go, and it becomes a challenge. So if more people were a little bit more uh, inclined to, to give us a way when uh, when we ask for it by by using our blinkers, that would be awesome. Uh, we're still not 100% all digital logs. Uh, I think it's rolled out mainly out east in Heartland, and it's moving its way west across the country. Uh, our, our, I know a lot of our trucks uh, in Toronto uh, are also. Uh, electronic logs, but uh, it's, it's not yet uh, fully implemented to all the trucks. It's a little bit of a challenge for all the drivers to get used to it, but in the long run, definitely, I see it as a positive change and not only the ease of use down the road for new drivers, but also for the overall safety down the road. It's going to make everybody safer and, uh, and also new drivers probably will like the system if they haven't been on paper logs before just to start with a computer log I think will be much easier to to learn and to adapt for the new generation of drivers. To have good dispatchers that know the city, that know what they're doing and, and dispatch um, efficiently is very important in this industry and all the dispatchers that we have right now are excellent and I really want to give them big thanks from on behalf of all our drivers. After the break, we're battling cancer with Trucking for a Cure. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Laid Law Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a driver. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. 
Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Subbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. So today is Trucking for a Cure. And this is the fourth annual Trucking for a Cure event. The first event was held out here in 2010 and it's just been growing in size and intensity, so we're pretty excited. You always dress like this? I dress like this every day. <laughs> pretty hot and pink. Yeah, thanks. Who's your friend? Artie. Artie. That's Artie, yes. So what are you guys driving? Uh, Volvo here. Got her all decked out? All decked Looking out. Looking good. <laughs> and who did that, you or her? We both did. Oh, say so she probably did all the work and you get to dress pretty. <laughs> yeah. You said you don't wear pink. What are you? <laughs> How's it going? Fabulous. Is this Absolutely. Your truck? Yes. Nice right. Thank you. Tell us about it. 97 Pete with a 71 Great Dane trailer. Took it from a 244 wheelbase to a 328 just so I could be a couple inches longer than my friends. <laughs> it's all about the size. So size does matter. Size does matter. Absolutely. <laughs> size does matter. It's so we meet again. We meet again. Do you always dress like this? Once a year. For? The cause, breast cancer. So how long have you been coming for trucking for a cure? This is my second year. Second year? Yeah. yeah I, well, I got a few of our other drivers here. Uh, we got four trucks in here today, and we're all dolled out. Got to save the tatas. Save the tatas. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Good, how's you? I'm doing great. So, Joanne, what's going on here today? Oh, well, we're having our fourth annual Trucking for a Cure event here in, at the TA Truck Stop in Woodstock. And uh, I think we've hit a record for trucks today, over 80, 80 trucks so far that I can I, I know about that were in the convoy. And it's just, it's, it's just turning into a huge festivity here. Oh, it's amazing. We got the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation Pink Tour bus here, yeah. so people can come take the, the, the reality tour and find out all about being breastwear and breast uh, cancer awareness. So you're the bus driver? I'm the bus driver, yes. That's a unique truck job. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's it like trying to maneuver around in the city? I really did not want to come back from up north, I gotta tell you, yeah, you know, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So where have you been so far this year in the Pink Bus? Oh my God, we've been everywhere. We started in Toronto, went to Bowmanville. We've done all the way Windsor, Sarnia, up around the lake to uh, north of Superior, Kenora, Sioux Lookout, Sault Ste. Marie, all the way to Ottawa, down Rideau. Trucking is a great program for us. It's, it's such a committed group of individuals that have come together every year now for the last number of years. We get really excited about it in the office. You can see it here today, how many within the trucking community have come out to support us, and not only them personally, but so too are their pinked out trucks, so we're really excited <laughs> about it. So it brings you here? Well, Trucking for a Cure, it's the fourth year of this event. We've got 88 trucks out here today, all raising money and, and celebrating breast cancer awareness and breast cancer fundraising. So trucks and breast cancer, <laughs> kind of a different take on that. What do you think of that? Well, one in nine women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. Mm -hmm. And what that means is 
everybody in every community knows somebody who's experienced a breast cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And communities come together in different ways. Sometimes it's neighborhoods, sometimes it's schools, and in this case, it's truckers. Yeah. So we think it's wonderful. It's not necessarily the people that you think that you'd see raising money for breast cancer and, and to see men and women decorating their trucks, painting their trucks pink, and showing their support for a yeah. cause like this is really special to us. A nice outfit. Yeah, I'm trying. You dress like this all the time? No, or? not when I'm hauling wind towers. No. Just like, for the day. Loving the fishnet. Yeah, they're looking pretty good, didn't they? Challenger has the whole crew here today. We've got uh, different divisions. We've got Gordon LCVs, Phil on the beer, me and Kelly both from the wind, and Joe from Elgin. So, yeah, it's a mixture of all the different divisions in the company. I'm going to try and hide from Challenger for a while, looking like this. So save the Tatas. Save the Tatas. <laughs> Nothing but the best. What are you driving? Peterbilt for Joseph. Support the boobies. <laughs> I just want to say thanks to all the people who are here. It's, this is a fantastic event. It's bringing awareness of the risk of breast cancer to the trucking community. As you know, this started off with mainly female, but as you can see, there are so many men here today. It's great that the men are on board. I think it's really important that we do this as a family. Like breast cancer affects so many people. As you know, one in nine women will be affected by breast cancer but 1% of men also get breast cancer, so it's not just a woman's thing, it affects us all, so this is pretty great. Plus men love tie you know. Well, yeah, and, and you see, you see this? It. Check yeah. these out. Check these out. <laughs> After the break, we're hauling huge with the Challenger Motor Freight team. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at FleetwayTransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at TruckerTelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Laidlaw Carriers Van LP. They pay me well. They have a good fuel surcharge calculation program with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television, by truckers, for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television, advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Trucker Television is brought to you by Sousa Truck Trailer Repair. New Cambridge location now open. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Cooler. Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses. The RPM Havelock Show, Canada's best cars and trucks featuring the Artistry and Iron Motorcycle Collection.
Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. You know, every day you go out in this truck is a new day. You get a buzz, you know, you've, you've driven like a normal truck and trailer, and then you get a wee bit bigger, carrying machines and dampers, you know, and you don't get much bigger than a windmill. You certainly don't get much bigger than a windmill, a double snowball and a Kenworth, you know, it's, especially for where I come from, you've got the extra hood. And, but yeah, it's a hard feeling you're scared, but you're also buzzing, and when you get there and you get it unloaded, and it's a job well done, you know. And anybody that tells you it's any different in this job, but they don't buzz off it and they don't get scared, well, they, they think they're telling lies because you're worried every day you're carrying that tower. The first time I ever worked in a wind farm was in Scotland when I was 17, 18 for a company called Edward Mackay. I was driving dump trucks, putting the, doing the bases and learning all about the wind before I ever got, you know, drive a big truck, so. I'm Martin McLean, I drive uh, for the wind division and Challenger Motor Freight. I drive a Kenworth T800 and a double schnobble. Uh, towing the base towers. I was uh, in, in the UK and I fancied a change. I always dreamt of trucking through Canada and America in a, in a big truck. And I've seen at Challenger, we're looking for drivers and I just thought, well, I'll apply and see how I go. And yeah, I got lucky and came over, got to run in a van and then on the SED and then they found out I had wind experience, so I got a new truck. When you go out, like you've got cornering to worry about, you've got over cables, like heights, which is all new again to me, you know. I, we run motorways all the time if you're moving like wind towers at home. Here, you, you've got trees and cars and old ladies are wanting to get round and they, you know, it's happened me, there's today, it's happened me again, you know, they undercut the police car and they don't know where you are, they don't understand. And pedestrians, especially coming through small villages, you know, cyclists, they, they want to look and they're walking closer to look at it and they've, all of a sudden your truck's coming around, your trailer's coming around and the tower's right across the middle and, well, where's this thing come from, you know, but if you've got good steermen, good escorts, you know, you've got a pretty easy run. Right now here we're uh, loading one of the double schnobbles. This is the rear car and this is a clamp system and what that means is there's just two clamps at the bottom that slip over top of the flange and then there's two clamps at the top that slip over top of the flange at the top and it kind of acts as a pressure and you pull on the bottom and push on the top and that's how you lift the tower. Same for mounting them up. Uh, the top is a little bit smaller, so we can't use these trailers for putting them together. Uh, this right here is the middle section, and it's yeah, it's 14 feet wide, so we can put this in. We can use this trailer to load the base as well. It's just a little bit bigger. All told, from the time we pull up to the tower, unhook everything get it loaded and get the saddles out and we're ready to roll. It's usually about half hour, 45 minutes. I like it, it's, it, honestly, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it, I got hard, you know. It's got a Road Ranger gearbox, the Kenworth is, it's a crash box. I'm used to a Scania with an air assisted clutch, you know, gold hoffer trailers or nuke booms. But that Talbot trailer I'm towing, it's a pretty good equipment, you know, it's strong and I'll always wind up our boys, you know. It's not as good as a gold hopper or a nuke boom, but it is, it is a good truck. Hard to get used to, you know, the wrong side of the road and that, but once you get used to it, I, you know, I wouldn't want to part with it. If I was to go back to the UK, I would go back to my team, but I like Canada, I like the people I work with, and I think at Challenge I've got a great future, you know. It's, it's hard for me going home, you know, it's now with my partner living in Scotland, but in the, the future, yeah, I, I think I'd like to stay at Challenger. As long as they've got wind, I won't be driving one of their trucks. Call us, email us, like us on Facebook, 
Send us a picture of your truck, and it might be on national TV. We all take pride in our ride. Call us, email us, like us on Facebook. Next week on Trucker Television, we're unloading with Neil of Laidlaw Tank LP. We're at St. Thomas Dragway for the Big Rig Truck Nationals. Checking out a cool new Locomote Systems Peterbilt. Ed, we're back, fighting breast cancer at Trucking for a Cure. Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising, the voice of Canadian trucking.